going on YouTube, your homie guy about to bring y'all a new video today on the It's On You channel. Today, this video is about an upgrade that I did to one of my firearms. Uh, some of y'all may follow me on Instagram. You probably already know what it is, but it's a much, much needed upgrade for me anyway, uh, because I hate rubber grips. I may give you a clue or whatever. But before I get to it, you know I like to do my EDC dump. I like the big homie uh, at Upper Left Tactical in Oregon. Uh, today, I'm watching, uh, rocking the uh, G-Shock GD100. Um, well, it's gonna go with the keys, same old, same old with a uh, recycle firefighter uh, lanyard, keychain oil from O light, my EDC light of choice that I've been rocking with for a couple years is the Streamlight Protect 2LX 500 lumens. Uh, I have a, also have a rechargeable 18650 battery in there. My wallet is a minimalist wallet made by Recycle Firefighter as well. Uh, the black motor cam back left pocket we got my tourniquet with a sharpie in there uh right in the rain notepad uh bandana i've been carrying i normally don't carry that much in the winter time but i've been carrying it more since the covid thing just in case i forget my uh my mask or whatever because some places are really serious about you not coming in there without a mask but um also we have my phone which would have been in this case uh is a uh, iphone 11 pro recording with it right, right now so you don't see it my blade of choice is one of my favorite the cursor blur this is my first blur i have three of them this is the all black one uh i actually got a nice little edge on it got a little mirror look to it probably can't see it but uh it looks good it cuts good too all right also in my front right pocket I got my AirPod Pros. I love these things. They're worth every penny, but if you can catch them on sale, get them on sale, like I did. But if I had to wait it, I could have probably saved like 40 more bucks from what I already had saved. But oh well, I had lost one of my AirPods, so I needed some. All right, my lighter is a Zippo lighter with a Thunderbird insert on it, inside of it, uh, for the butane fuel. Burt's Bees Wax Chapstick, the best out though. Matter of fact, I'm dab a little on. Feel, feel a little dry. Anywho, oh, also in my right pocket, <clears throat> Fisher Space Pen, the bullet. Keep it on me, just like I keep this on me. EDC Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS with the Hollis and 507C. And I also have the Trigicon Suppressor Height Night Sights with the uh, Streamlight TLR7. Spare mag Glock, uh, Glock 17 with the plus two. And I <clears throat> also got the uh, black Rambo ammo in there, 124 grain, all riding in a tier one Axis Slim. Uh, I love this holster. Love it, love it, love it. Still going strong. My EDC belt is the uh, Blue Alpha Gear uh, EDC belt. This is not the hybrid one. It's time to get a hybrid because the Velcro is starting to wear out. I've had this probably about four years. The actual belt itself is still good. It's just the Velcro is starting to give out on me. But the, the, the rigidness in the belt is still there. But uh, also got on some 511 Defender jeans. But anywho, we're going to get right to it. We're going to change the view so y'all can check it out, man. All right, guys, this is a better uh, view of the firearm. This is a Taurus M85. I have the uh, VZ grips on it. These grips are the um, operator grips, the, tar the operator two. So I guess they had another model, but these are the operator grips. They have about five different colors, or six, to five to six different colors you can choose from. This is the cherry and black. This is real cr close to a wood looking finish. And I really liked this, so. It's what I went with. Um, like I said, oh, before we get any further, this gun has been cleared. There's nothing in the cylinder. Um, but I love it. Uh, I love the, the feel of it because it's G10 grips and the texture of it is not too, too much and it's not uh, too less or whatever you want to say. Um, it's just, it's, it's perfect. I hate rubber grips. as I, I know y'all heard me say that before when it came to the rubber grips that comes on the... Uh, the CZs, I just hate them. Uh, to me, they're just horrible, uh, especially when your hand get wet. They, you would think it would help, but it doesn't help. I just don't like rubber grips. I don't. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. And as you can see, this one is, to me, this grip is a little smaller. You got a little more 
real estate to grab this firearm, especially if you're shooting a uh, 357, which I will get a 357 one like this. Um, but this is 38 special. If anybody is looking to get a revolver, don't make the mistake I did. I always go with 357. That way you can shoot 357 or 38 special because if you get a 38 special, you can't shoot 357. Even if you feel like you don't. If uh, you feel like 357 is too much power for you, always get the 357. That way you can shoot the 38 special. They have to give yourself options because you never know when 38 special becomes short or whatever, and you have to use 357. And you don't want to just have a gun that you can't use or whatever. You know, I mean, you should stock up on it, but I'm just saying it makes more sense to get a 357. But um, yeah, man, I love the grips. I love the look of it. Um, and it feels so so good. Uh, I haven't shot it yet. I'm actually gonna go to the range um, Sunday, so I'll, I'll shoot it then to see how I feel with these grips. But just from doing dry fire and and carrying it, the few days I did carry it, it feels good, man. Really, really good. I got way more grip on it than I did when I had the rubber grips. And even if your hands are sweaty with this with this uh, texture that they have in the design, you're gonna get a good purchase on the gun and you shouldn't lose it. And you'll be able to control the, uh, the gun, especially for women. I think these revolvers, are, I mean, anybody that have a problem with loading guns or whatever, it's very, very simple to have a revolver, uh, especially if a revolver is gonna be your main EDC. I would suggest getting like a uh, six or seven shot or whatever. I think it's got six, seven or eight, but I know for sure they got six shots, so. I would get a six shot and then you can got your speed loader. Uh, what did I do with it? Uh, this is a very, very comfortable speed loader that I carry. I like this one because it's comfortable. It can just slide in your pocket. But the easiest speed loader is the one that has the, uh, this, it's made like a cylinder. So you put it in there and twist it and they just fall in there, all of them. With this, you have to do two at a time, you know, but it's still pretty quick, you know, if you practice with it. Anything can be quick if you practice with it. But anywho, man, I just wanted to uh, show y'all these grips by VZ. These are the Operator 2 with the cherry and black uh, finish on it. And yeah, there we go. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, anybody who's looking for it until they got a revolver and they want to upgrade the grips. Me personally, I hate rubber grips, so I thought I'd throw this video in there uh, so you guys can check it out or whatever. And also you catch, uh, follow them uh vz on their pages they let you know you can sign up for the email they send you emails about 10 percent off and all that stuff i actually caught those on like i said i caught those on the deal that was the original price like 79 i caught them for 69 or whatever so or 65 and uh, if you follow somebody who actually it's like a um an ambassador for them you might get a even better discount maybe get 20 percent off so you know and they're, they're well well worth it even with the full price so I'll put the link in the description for that. Y'all go check them out. Um, and that's it, man. Y'all get out there and train. Be careful, man. Peace on life. It's on you.